Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan. Welcome back to the Alan Hines YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out round two of the Drift Masters Virtual Championship series. Now, this track we're heading to Asa, Ottawa. Ot Awa. Ottawa. 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 It's a fictional race circuit. Uh, I don't really know where it's based, um, but all I know, it's not really real and that it's the first time we've ever hosted or like there has ever been an actual drift competition on this track layout. It's going to be interesting, but before we kind of talk about anything more, let's actually have a look at it and uh, let's see, is it is it any good? So as always, here we are in the Proto Academy S15, uh, the Drift Masters Championship uh, version of the car. No real difference, just different logos as per usual. Um, but this track, it looks amazing. It's really, really cool. Um, first off, let's have a quick fly around the track and let's see if there's anything we can actually kind of see that is interesting. Um, the initiation point, super quick. Uh, first glance, I believe we won't be really filling this, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, out to the other clipping point here. I think it's self-explanatory. We'll be interested to see do we have to decel much going into this inner clipping point. This is super cambered, which is something I noticed. Um, so it's essentially, I think it's the biggest camber track we've ever drifted on, really. Drifted con or corner, really. Got two more outer, or two more outer clipping points here for our transition, and our last inner clipping point here on the full axle uh, part of the circuit. So here we go. We go for our first lap here. Let's give you guys a first impressions of this track layout as the cat decides to come into the shot. Anyway, here we go. Starting off second gear, third. We're gonna go to fourth. Flick initiation. Yeah. So we won't be filling that first outer zone. Don't think we've really been selling that much there. Up to third again. A bit wide on that inner clipping point. Transition to the next zone. You can really fire it in there. Oh, damn, it's really gripping up there. Barely making that zone. Got to upshift the fort. Across the line. Okay. Super tricky layout, actually. I think it's kind of interesting how it's for after the first transition and there's such a banked corner, you can really like launch it in there on under so much gas, and the car just like grips up because of the camber of the track. Let's do another lap here. Flick initiation. Yeah, it can't really fill it because you have to decel a lot to do it properly. So that'll be interesting what they will be requesting us there from the judges. It's the inner point better that time. Transition, mad angle. It's the <laughs> cambered corner, but it's kind of hard to do that way, actually. And across the line. So a super basic layout, really. I mean, you've got, you've got three corners. Is it three corners? Maybe four corners. You go right uh, two times and you go left once. <laughs> so super basic layout, nothing really crazy in that regard, but the elevation changes are nuts. And I think that's what's going to be the difficult factor, because if this layout was flat, for, for example, I think it'd be super basic, it'd be super easy. Uh, okay, running wide there. I wonder would an outside line there actually feel better, but trying to make it tricky obviously these guys so car really like hesitates in power at that uh, cambered corner obviously with all the uh, the load on those rear wheels really forcing the car into grip so of course um, round one of drift masters we ended up taking the win it was a great event we're at Riga bigger Nikki uh, super known layout obviously this time we're going to a completely new track layout something that we've never seen or heard of before and this track is actually fictional it is not not real it's completely fake um, but I do uh, uh, I am aware I do believe it's based off real area if that makes sense it's just this track doesn't actually exist in this actual location in wherever country it is. I think it's America or something. So, um, yeah, super interesting layout. Uh, I don't think it's one of my favorites, but I think it'll be super tough and I think it's going to really, really like set the men from the boys. Um, you're going to have to be super on points. The chase run here is, uh, is going to be ridiculously important. I think the chase run, you know, the chase lap around this track is going to be tough. And, you know, if, if a guy in a lead position does a really good job, makes it easier for the chase guy, well then, you can't, it kind of defeats the purpose as a uh, 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 defeats the purpose of doing a bad lead run. You have to make sure you get that lead line nailed, like you should do anyway. But I think it's going to be more apparent on this track layout. 
So we're just after joining the public lobby. Let's try and get a few chase laps in uh, here. See what it's going to be like in the chase position. Oh, just got left on the start line a bit. So this track is going to be interesting. Like I mentioned, it's going to be super important to get a good lead line nailed uh, because the chase driver will be able to chase super easy. Um, and that's what the judges want. So they will reward the lead driver to do that really good lead line. And I think it's going to be more important than other tracks. Oh, that's going to be an issue. I suppose that's the, been the biggest the biggest change in most drift series over the last couple of years is the priority and lead line. And this track really emphasizes that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. super tricky super super tricky to actually attack this track properly because you're gonna have to like back well off and not really go for the door no that's not what they want the drift masters they really do prefer the front wheel to rear wheel style of chase driving and so it's obviously a little bit different to what we will be used to mostly on the sim uh even in the real life competitions that i generally compete in you know they do prefer the door-to-door -door stuff whereas the drift masters here they don't really prefer door-to-door -door. they before prefer they prefer uh, front wheel to rear wheel. So we're chasing till till Blum here, and he's S15. Man, it's a tricky, it's a tricky lap, man. It's like it's you have to be on point on the chase position. You know, Till had a great lead run there, so it helped a lot. Um, but like, if you don't have that good lead run, you, it's really hard to put in a really good chase. So I really do think lead runs here are going to be super, super important, uh, especially on a tricky track like this. So guys, that's going to end it for today's video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like this track? Do you think the change of fictional circuits, not really using real life circuits? Uh, is an interest to you? Do you guys would would you guys still watch it, or do you prefer watching real life track layouts that you would see in the real world? Uh, personally, uh, I don't really mind. I'm kind of open minded to it. Uh, I'm open to seeing new tracks, uh, stuff that we haven't seen in the real world before. Um, but sometimes it's kind of nice to have a decent balance, and I like to see. I like the way that Drift Masters are kind of approaching it. Other than that, guys, we're gonna leave it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Cheers and goodbye.